What about the moon landings? Like, why would they fake moon landings in the sixties? Like, what is the purpose of it again? Like, even though I understand what you're saying, but why why lie about it all? Like, what is the the sole purpose of people lying whether they go to the moon or not? Is it so we can't travel or try and make ways to try and get out? Or what's their purpose of lying about moon landings? Well, so in uh, 1959-ish or in the late 1950s, um, they started exploring, you know, the people that are running the world now, and these are just the puppets of the real masters. Um, they started exploring Antarctica and, uh, you know, Admiral Byrd supposedly went out there and said, hey, there's land bigger than the United States filled with unlimited resources that no human has ever set eyes upon. And uh, um, then all of a sudden they're like, oh, nobody can go to Antarctica. All the countries in the world signed the treaty and said, nobody can go to Antarctica on, you know, no independent exploration of Antarctica. And hey, we're going to the moon. We're going to send a bunch of Freemasons to the moon. You can never verify anything. But, you know, I used to believe in the moon landing until I actually looked, right? When you look at the moon on a full, on a night, on a, you know, full moon night, you can read by it. You can drive your car with the lights off. It lights up. It casts your shadow on the ground. That's moonlight, right? Why isn't this rock? which I argue is maybe more reflective than the moon. Why isn't that shining light back at the camera? This is noon. This is 12 noon here. Um, this rock, how come it's not lit up like the moon, right? And when you look at the moon landing, it, it absolutely, um, you know, when, when you look at it, I, I don't know how, how um, I don't know how anybody could possibly believe it. There, There's so many um, issues, like, here, you know, we, we have to believe this is what was originally shown when R Russia landed a rover on the moon. Okay, look at this. Does this hold up? Right? This is what we were shown, Russia landing a rover on the moon, and the U.S. is no better. Okay? Um, let me show you some a couple other things. Um, so here's uh, the Apollo landing. This is, the, he's... He's on the orbiter by himself. The other two guys are on the moon. And who is panning that camera up? Okay. Who panned that camera up? He's on the orbiter alone. I mean, it's just little things like that. But you look more, um, you know, you look you look at this stuff. Um, no, the, 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 there's so much evidence. that there was recently a whistleblower in the app. Um, under the frequently asked questions, you hit moon landing. And there's a whole bunch of videos. And one of them is the son of an ad of an ad an admiral, I think it was Admiral, um, who on his deathbed whistle blew where and how they filmed the 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 moon landings. Right? So again, it's only when you look into it, right? We have to believe that this thing from the nineteen sixties can protect somebody from 250 degrees below zero to 250 degrees above zero. I challenge any astronaut, any person to get in this thing and put them in the Sahara desert for an hour and see if they live. Okay. And that's nothing. Now what's that? 120 degrees. If they're lucky, um, this is handles a 500 degree swing in temperature. 